Hello, and welcome to Gardening with the DIY Blind Guy. I'm Richard, your DIY Blind Guy. Today we're going to mix up a custom soil for planting potatoes in containers. I'm never satisfied with the soil I buy from the store, so I'm going to show you how to do a quick mix. We've got our players here. I've got uh, some Kellogg's raised bed mix here over on my wagon. And I've got uh, some peat moss over here on my wagon. I've got a gallon container here for scooping out some peat moss. I've got uh, my hoe is off here to the side. So we got our hoe for doing some mixing. And I got a wheelbarrow. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because potatoes need a acidic soil. Uh, the peat moss will provide some acidity for the potatoes uh, so we don't get scab on them. Let's go ahead and get started here with this today. We got quite a bit of soil to mix up today. I've got six 10 gallon potato bags to mix up. We'll get filled. And we're hoping this will go pretty quickly. Get our peat moss opened up here. And we're going to start off with Every two cubic feet, we're going to go ahead and add in uh, two gallons of peat moss here. I see in a lot of videos that uh, people end up adding in sulfur. And sulfur, if you're reusing your soil, it's a great way to acidify it. Uh, a lot of these container growers, they go through and they add sulfur into it for a 90 day crop. Well, the microbes in the soil are gonna take a while to use that sulfur up to acidify it. You might get some benefit from it, but most likely uh, it won't do much to acidify the soil. Peat moss will be an instant reducer, uh, and then we can go from there. Yeah, let's just go ahead and mix this up by hand here, and we'll see what it's going to do. Yeah, I've kind of enjoyed using this Kellogg's raised bed soil. Very well draining. It goes for quite a bit of time. We'll probably get a few crops out of it over the next several years. I'm going to go ahead and add another, another gallon of peat moss. Okay, we're just going to toss that right on into the barrel. Let's see if we can do this a little quicker with the... This is my first year growing potatoes. And I've currently got some Yukon Gold growing. I figured I'd try another batch here since I'm in California and I'm zone eight. Uh, we have a lot of time to grow. So I decided to go against the grain of things. And we're going to plant potatoes during the heat wave. 
but we're not going to make any progress until we start getting some soil in these bags. And what I'm going to do, even though I'm probably going to have to pull soil back out of the bag, we're going to go ahead and fill the bag so I can just get all my soil mixing done in one shot. Now I'm going to do a whole video on starting and growing potatoes from start to finish for the first time. I started my Yukon Gold really early this year. So they're going to finish up in another couple weeks here in the middle of July. And I'll do up a whole video. You'll see some of the soil mixing and how to plant them. And then we'll show you the harvest. We'll see how good I did the first year. Planted five pounds of potatoes and I got five more pounds of red Lasota. That's what we're going to plant in these fabric bags. And we'll see how they do. Seeing a lot of information out there on soil and what potatoes need. And I think this raised bed soil will provide an optimal environment since I'm growing short, uh, short season crops and potatoes. So they won't be in the soil too long. You know, so we can rejuvenate it for the next crop, whether it be flowers, vegetables, or maybe one more round potatoes before it goes to doing something else. I figure it's going to take about one and a half cubic feet to fill these things. And so we'll uh, get them all filled up here. Heck, no one ever said gardening is a fast process. But we want it to be enjoyable. It's not meant to be a chore. So, you know, we take our time. had to mulch our potatoes up front where we have uh, our Yukon Golds. Uh, they were starting to peak above, so I know we're going to get potatoes. Some fairly nice sized ones, it looks like. I don't know, I watched a lot of videos. I just used whatever soil I had laying around left over. Now we're going to do these in a brand new bags of soil. All the nutrients and everything that they're going to need. Should... And I'm going to leave a couple inches from the top. Yeah, I know. Watching somebody mix soil up is like watching concrete dry. Yep. That's okay. You can poke fun at me as I fumble around. Yeah. Kind of taking too long to get the second crop of potatoes in. We're going to be pushing up against our first frost date, but you know what? During fabric 10 gallon pots. And I'll move them in the shelter if I have to. So by the time we harvest the ones in here, maybe I'll be better at doing videos too. Well, now we need to get our next bag going here. Oh, 
most important thing I can tell you guys is just experiment. What are you going to do? Kill a few plants? Go ahead, we'll get this mixed up real quick. Yeah, a big challenge is going to be how we're going to store these potatoes. As I said, I'm in zone 8. 8B to be exact. But hopefully you get some tips out of this. Go ahead and get this mixed up real quick. You'll see that I just kind of get into my work here. I, I don't care. Let's, let's go ahead and pull our fabric pot. Once you start getting the rhythm down, it starts going quick. Got out early this morning to do this since we're supposed to hit 100 today. It's already in the 60s. Okay, we're mixing soil for, for potatoes. And then I'm going to do more formal videos, which will, you know, have shots from this. A little more information than what I may provide you here because, frankly, I'll just forget. You just got to get out there and just. Get growing. Get this garden going. Oh, look at that. Third of the way done. I think that's pretty much all you really need to see. I'm going to just be doing rinse and repeat here. Just want to thank you. You know, thanks for stopping by. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll provide more of these action-packed videos of me wandering around the yard. Thank you for watching.